Well, hi guys, and welcome back. I have another haul for you. Um, this time it's a mango haul, but I am also sneaking a few Zara pieces in here and also some Storettes. I am going to be showing you a lot of knitwear today. I have suddenly just gone knitwear crazy <laughs> and accumulated so much of it, so much so that I am going to have to take some of it back. <laughs> there are lots of neutrals in there, lots of camels, browns, um, so yeah, I am super excited to show you. You will probably also spot some of these pieces in my Instagram, um, so do also follow me on there at Sophie Louise's Diary. And let's get the first outfit on. So as soon as I put this cardi on, I fell in love. <laughs> it's so me, I love it. We all know I love a kind of statement button, whether it's pearls or diamante, and these buttons are particularly beaut, and I love how they kind of contrast with kind of like the tweedy knit. So the cardi is from Mango, and they also have a kind of matching skirt and crop top as well. Um, but I went for the cardi just because it's a little bit more practical now the weather's getting cooler. I really love the colour, it's kind of like a mocha kind of brown um, and it has kind of cream check tweedy pattern on it. I did wonder whether it would have maybe too many granny vibes but I'm all here for the granny vibes, I love it. <laughs> Also, recently I found with some knitwear I found really itchy, um, but this one is super soft and cosy, which is a huge bonus. I also love the kind of boxy shape, and I got this in a size extra small, and um, really happy with the fit. I am all here for um, statement cardies, just because I think they instantly dress up an outfit. So I have paired this with my little pleated knitted skirt. This is from Storettes. I love this skirt and it's also super comfy, it's super elasticated and um, quite a thin kind of knitted fabric. It's quite tight fitted but then a line as well and the pleats go all the way around. I really love these pieces together, um, I think I would also wear it with my Chloe bag um, and also I've got some boots on here which actually match perfectly, these are from ASOS. Um, but I will link everything down below. So the next thing I wanted to show you was a knitted midi dress. I love this dress. I've seen quite a lot of knitted dresses around at the moment, but I love how this one has a little tie here. I think it makes it really flattering. So again, this is from Mango. It's a lovely kind of beigey colour. Um, it has a v-neck here, it has long sleeves which I have rolled up. It's a ribbed knit fabric. It's super fitted as you can see, um, but I think because of the ribbed fabric and also the tie here, I think it is really flattering. I got this one in a size extra small. I actually can't remember the prices of everything, so I will put the prices down in the description box near the links. So I love knitted dresses like this because I think you can dress them up and dress them down really easily. If you want to wear it during the daytime, if you want to go to the pub or if you want to be a little bit warmer, I also think it would look really nice with ankle boots. I actually have ankle boots on here um, and these also go perfectly with this dress. These ankle boots from ASOS and they were only like 29.99. So yes, definitely keeping this one too. And onto my next outfit, and we have a little monochrome outfit. So when I briefly showed this knit on my story, quite a few people actually messaged being like, oh, that looks like the Zara one you had last year. But this time we have no sleeves. So you've probably seen all over Instagram that knitted vests are very much a trend at the moment. Um, but I really like this one because it was a little bit different. So this is from Mango. Again, we have the embellished buttons, which we all know I'm a very big fan of. And there's a houndstooth pattern here. Um, it's quite a low v-neck and the arms here are quite low too. This is a size extra small and you can see it's quite an oversized fit. I love this. It Again, it's one of those statement knits that instantly lift an outfit. And I think this is really unusual and it's really on trend at the moment. So I paired it from a skirt. Um, this is a Zara skirt and it's new in. It's super minimal, the type of black skirt which everyone 
needs in their wardrobe. There's a couple of pockets here. It's super tailored, it's quite fitted and it's also high-waisted. Um, I got this in a size extra small. I've also layered the vest over a white shirt. It's kind of more of like a chiffon fabric um, and this is also from Mango. I think this shirt looks super luxe. It doesn't look high street at all. Um, it's a really lovely fabric and it has a very, very, very slight sheen on it which makes it look really expensive. I got the shirt in a size extra small as well and really love the fit. It's not too tight, it is also quite oversized and it's also really smart. So, but yeah, I love this outfit. I think it's super chic. So the next thing I wanted to show you was this cable knit cardi a little less bougie than the last one um this one has more kind of casual buttons <laughs> but i love this one equally so the thing that attracted me most to this cardi was the puff sleeves we all know i love a good puff sleeves and i love the cable knit on this one i also really love the color of this it's a really gorgeous kind of cream it's just such a lovely everyday knit that can be worn with so many different things it's such a wardrobe staple this one is reasonably oversized i got this in a size extra small so the skirt is also a new collection this is from zara this is also super minimal fits high on the waist and it's very fitted another kind of wardrobe staple and I've also paired it with this knit from Revolve. I'll take this off so I can show you properly. It's a really gorgeous camel colour. Um, and what I really love about this is even though it's knitwear, it's kind of elevated knitwear. But all of these pieces are super minimal. If you want to create more of a capsule wardrobe, then pieces like this are perfect. And before I forget, the, both the top and the skirt are a size extra small. So I'm going to be a little bit cheeky here, and I've sneaked in another piece from Storettes, um, but it's with the Zara skirt and Revolve top, just to show you how you can piece items like this with different things and how you can create lots of different outfits. So this jacket is perfect for this time of year when you don't want to wear like a big wool coat. What I love most about this is the colour. It's a really gorgeous camel colour um, and it kind of has kind of cargo utility vibes. Um, there are some shoulder pads in here and I love the sleeves, the buttons here. I love how it's really oversized. It's quite boxy. I think it would also look really cool with white jeans too. This is from Storettes. Um, I think it comes in small to large sizing and I got this in a small. Um, they, it does come up quite big so I would suggest if you're in between the sizes sizing down. I also am obsessed with this colour palette. I love whites and beiges and camels together. I think they're so lovely especially for autumn. Just give you a little bit more of an idea how to style it. I would pair it with my Gucci bag I've got my Christian Dior belt and again <laughs> the shoes which I keep wearing <laughs> but yeah I love this outfit together it's also the type of outfit that would suit so many different occasions if you're going shopping if you're going for drinks another thing I ordered from Mango were these boots there are so many boots I'm loving on Mango at the moment there are also some biker boots that I really want. I really like these because I can decide whether to go for a white knee-high boot or a camel knee-high boot and I feel like these are in the middle. They're kind of like a cream colour and I love the wooden heel on these. They are so beaut and they look designer. They definitely don't look high street and they have a bit of a pointed toe. And also, because I keep banging on about how much I love creams and camels together, I do think I'm definitely going to be able to pair these with a lot of different outfits. The heel is quite high on these, um, but it is reasonably chunky. Thank you so much for watching my haul. I hope you've got lots of lovely outfit ideas for autumn. I have linked everything down below to kind of make your shopping a little bit easier. And do follow me on Instagram at Sophie Louise's Diary. And do also click subscribe. I'm going to be doing a video every week, um, especially over autumn. Um, so do keep an eye out for my next video. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.